Hi everyone, in this video we're going to discuss some of the formulas uh, for the integrals of certain trig functions. These are the most basic ones. So we'll start first with the formula for the integral of cosine x with respect to x, so dx. So when you're integrating cosine, um, you ask yourself, what is a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, the derivative of sine is cosine, so the answer is sine x, and then you add a plus and a c. Okay, so, and you can check your answer by differentiating the right-hand side, right? The derivative of sine is cosine, and the derivative of c is zero. Two. The second really important formula we have is one for the integral of sine x with respect to x. This one is a little bit harder to memorize. So if you ask yourself, what is a, deri what is a function whose derivative is sine? Well, you know that the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So what you can do is put a negative cosine here, and then plus c. And let's check this. You see, if you take the derivative with respect to x of the right-hand side, we should get the integrand, which is sine x. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we get negative, negative sine. And the derivative of c is 0. So negative and negative is positive, so we just get sine x. So it certainly checks. So again, when you're integrating sine, you just ask yourself, what is a function whose derivative is sine? Then you think, OK, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so you need a negative cosine, because the negatives cancel, and they give you sine. So a little bit more thinking. Three. The next one is not so bad. It's a formula for the integral of secant squared x dx. So then you ask yourself, what is a function whose derivative is uh, secant squared? Well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So when you integrate secant squared, you get tangent x. And let's not forget our arbitrary constant of integration, capital C. Four. Another common formula is the formula for the derivative of for the integral of secant tangent with respect to x. Here we ask ourselves, what is a function whose derivative is secant tangent? Well, the derivative of secant is secant tangent, so this is secant x plus c. Five, almost done, two more. The next one is a little bit harder to memorize. It's the formula for the integral of cosecant squared x. So here you just ask yourself, uh, what is a function whose derivative is cosecant squared? Well, the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. So here you need a negative cotangent. Again, so the negatives cancel. And the very last one, the very last one, is the formula for the integral of cosecant cotangent x dx. And here again you think, what's a function whose derivative is cosecant cotangent, because we're going backwards. So the derivative of a cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent, so here we need a negative cosecant x, and then we have a plus and a c. So these are the main formulas uh, that you want to memorize. And again, I think the best way to memorize them is just to think backwards. So like when you're doing three and you have secant squared, you ask yourself, hey, what is a function whose derivative is secant squared. Well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So the integral of secant squared is tangent x plus c. The harder, harder ones are the ones with negative signs. Like when you're trying to integrate sine, you say, OK, what's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so you need an extra negative here to cancel that. You'll notice that uh, uh, whenever you have um, secant tangent, and cosecant cotangent, you just get the secant function or the cosecant function. So you just get the, the cunt function. Also, uh, here, secant squared, cosecant squared, you get the tan functions, tangent and, and negative cotangent. So there are some patterns um, you can notice. If you're wondering about other trig functions, like what's the integral of secant or what's the integral of cosecant, uh, we study those later in, in calculus one. Those require uh, a little bit more work. I hope this video uh, has been helpful.